Okay, today we have the Magic Eye Edge. This is a brand new motor from Golden Motor. It's a 500 watt rated motor. It's the same shape as the Magic Pie, but smaller. The Magic Pie is rated at 1000 watts, and the Edge here is rated at 500. So it's smaller than the Magic Pie and bigger than the Smart Pie. The Smart Pie is rated at 400 watts. The thing about this motor is it's nice and thin, just like the Magic Pie is. So I've been out test riding this bike and I love it. Silent, smooth power, peaks at around 1100 watts, 22 and a half amps, and that's right out of the box, no settings. Once I get back home here, I'm going to plug it into the USB cable and check it out, see what it was set at. I got up to about 42 kilometers an hour, so I'm going to have to slow it down. And it peaks at around 1100 watts. So, let's see what we do here. Yeah, we're pulling about 1100 watts, which is good for the motor size. Nice and quiet. Imagine getting quite a bit of wind on the phone. And we're going to go for a ride on the Magic Pie Edge. Get my phone mounted there. I'm going to switch this to a speedometer. And off we go. But you can see it's very quiet. I do hear the tires on the boardwalk. These are mountain bike tires, so they're pretty loud. Anyway, I'm just nursing it along. We're already up to 28 kilometers here. motor is 48 volts 500 watts it's the perfect solution if you're looking to build a street legal e-bike and your requirement is a 500 watt motor okay here's a here's a good section here uphill climb magic pie edge 48 volt 500 watt motor. We're taking on the full throttle. Climbing a slight grade. And you can see consistently the edge is pulling about 1,000 to 1,100 watts. That would be the peak output. that hill at uh, 32 to 36 K there. Okay, apps in the bottom left. Watch the top right. Okay, right out of the hole it's pulling almost 23 amps. Twenty two point six five six eight. I'm not sure what the controller is set at. That'd be my next thing. I'm going to run back and have a look and plug in and see what the controller is set at. But we're pulling a good 22 and a half, 23 amps here. Okay, I just want to show you how much easier it's getting to connect to the 531 controller. 
I have the Magic Pie Edge plugged into the computer here. Well, not yet. I just want to see what the default settings are, but you can see when I select up here, I got COM3, and this is the version of the software I'm using here. Okay, so then I go down here, and I have the motor powered up, and the USB cable, and I plug it in. And now I have COM7 available. So when I click COM7, and I go up here and click on the connect icon, you can see all the numbers come up. So these are the default settings for the edge. You can see right here it's set at 48 volts. And I'm about to test out a 36 volt battery, so I'm just going to set this at 36 volts. And you can see the numbers change. And then I go up here, download the perimeters to the controller, and it's done. Now the controller is set at 36 volts. You can see here the amperage. This is the default setting for the amps for the edge. It's at 21. The Magic Pi is 25. And the Smart Pi is 18. And if you click here, you can see that you can actually go from 10 to 30 on the controller. I wouldn't recommend going above the 18, 21, or 25 defaults. But you could take the Magic Pi up to 30 volts or 30 amps and get 1500 watts out of it. But still, the recommended setting for the Magic Pi is 25 amps. And for the Edge, you can see it's 21, and for the Smart Pi is 18. And then once I've saved everything, by clicking Download to the Perimeters here, Download the Perimeters, so that's saved to the controller, and I just exit the software. And that's it. Something else I'd like to point out here is the continuous improvements in the motors. Uh, the controller has the fins on it here for cooling. And now the controller housing down beside it there, it also has cooling fins on it. And then you have these large fins that rotate with the wheel and push the air right against that. Keeps the motor nice and cool. Continuous improvements on these motors. Gary Salo, Gold Motor Canada.